what to do. Should mind my step. I want to have a word. What did I tell you? A momentous occasion. I'm sure you agree. I've had enough, Mizora. What do you want? Your attention. Little pup, nothing more. And you'll be glad to give it. You see, Gortash has had your father relocated. Rude. I'm just an impartial observer. This is Gortash's game, a murderous one, the way I hear it. Shit. Your dad's good as dead, pup. And to think there's no way to save him. Or is there? You know something. I know enough. I'll be in your camp if you want to work something out. Of course she'd stick her infernal nose where it doesn't belong. Of course she's dreamt up some risible scheme. By all the hounds of the hells, what is she planning? Mazora's always worth hearing out. That's what makes her so dangerous. We'll have answers soon enough. Mazora's gone to camp. We should speak with her. Until then, may my father keep safe, whatever coop he's been flown to. Do not buy Go on, then. You think you can do better? Wish me your Oh, you? I know you. How delightful to meet in person. Though, you're shorter than I expected. My name's Estraster, journalist. I speak to the people of Baldur's Gate so our readers don't have to. You are quite correct. The best broadsheet around. I would certainly recommend picking up a copy in the near future. You are, after all, the star of the next Baldur's Mouth Gazette. <laughs> if I told you, you'd lose the fun of reading it yourself. It's our juiciest edition in an age, bound to get everyone talking about you. I bet you do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've really said rather too much and written rather too little. Good day.
citizen is unconscious and won't be waking up anytime soon. These street trash need to watch their tone and don't tolerate disrespect. Stay back. Stay calm. Divine protectors of Baldur's Gate, hear this humble plea. Shield our people from the depredations of the absolute heretics. Bless them with the strength to endure and the courage to resist. So may it be. Faithless creatures seldom cross our threshold, Oathbreaker. You have come far, I perceive. How may I serve you this day? Of course, my child. Within limits. Behold my wares. Welcome. We're, we're finally here. We're safe. Welcome. If you've need of a bunk or a bath, you'll find them upstairs. Keep telling you, animals. If you want to buy a gazette, talk to the loud little shit screaming headlines. I deliver the papers. I do not sell them. La la la. Dee da dee dum dee dee. Bum, bum, bum. Very funny. If that joke wasn't older than I am, I'd laugh. When I think about the poor refugees starving in Rivington, I could just weep. I believe I'll drown my tears in another brandy. to be my friend, do not regurgitate on my floor. You are obviously wrong, as demonstrated by the fact that I am on staff at this tavern, and this is my form of elocution. <sighs> now, I believe you're standing between me and my mop. Good day. You talk about the honor of your order. But what about my honor? I made a deal. Stog, if you want to join the Vigilant Knights, you have to quit beating people up. My sister Gerva has talked me into joining her Holy Helm Order, but I got a job to finish first. Breaking the knees of debtors for the Guild isn't honest work, and you know it. That's why you're giving it up. But I already took the money for it from Uktar, so I gotta follow through. It's like an oath or something. And I know you understand oaths, Skurva. What am I going to tell the Vigilant Knights, Doug? That you're knee-breaking for goodness? Helm's gaze, you sound like a guild lawyer. You must think I'm pretty dumb. And maybe I am. Because I'm going back to return Oktar's money. Don't wait up, Skurva. Might take me a while to crawl back home with two busted knees. Aye, aye. Pull up a seat. 
If you can find one spare, that is. With all this talk of war, what else are folk to do but drink? I reckon the murder would add something to do with it too. Got punters all intrigued. On that morbid note, what can I get your fine self? I tell you what, the murder upstairs has brought some punters, but it's also really spooked folk out of renting rooms. If we get you staying up there, perhaps folk will calm down and realize there's nothing to worry about. You can have the whole upstairs floor until this killer thing blows over. The city always wins. There's always some hero that saves the day. It's the way things work. <laughs> Charity! In Baldur's Gate. Good one. More asses and chairs means more coin in my pouch. You got yourself a deal. Top floor's all yours. If it gets a bit too noisy at night, well, don't sleep above a pub. I hear this guy is really good. My buddy Roanoke almost pissed himself laughing. Hey, smart stuff. I'm Willoughby, the comedian. And we got a little contest here called the Laugh Riot. You wanna play along? Great! I'll go first to show you how it's done, and then you can see if you can top me. Hello, Baldarians! You know, I wouldn't be here tonight. Except my wife ran off with a cambium. That's right. I got fiend zoned. <laughs> we used to have a drow comedian. I had to ask her to stop casting Tasha's hideous laughter on the audience. Then I asked her how many drow it takes to light a torch, and she said, none. We have dark vision. <laughs> so I killed her. The elf song patrons think that one's funny. There may be hope for you yet. Your turn, smart stuff. Knock them dead, but not literally. Got me? If that's the best you got, smart stuff, you should quit before the crowd gets angry. Didn't I tell this joke already? Religion, smart stuff. A single person applauds from the back of the room, probably out of pity. Sorry, smart stuff. No joy for you, I'm afraid. But that sounds like job security for me. Another triumph. Yes, indeedy. I'm still the comedy king. There you are. I'd almost lost track of you. Almost. You've put me out of pocket, you know. Raphael bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. 
Speaking of Raphael, did you miss his invitation? He's waiting for you in Charesse's caress. Such a shame. You won't survive without his help. And I'll miss your pretty face. At least hear him out. You'll be surprised what he has to offer. He'll be in Charesse's caress in Worms Crossing. Go, now, if you know what's good for you and the world. Halt, Sivvy. Turn back. This is an active crime scene. Hold on, Thorniel. I'm tired of standing here. Develop's been up there for ages. <laughs> Some diversion would be welcome. Chances are the constable will throw you down the stairs, but go ahead, citizen. I could do with something to break the monotony. ready for the road once more. Baldur's Gate. You know, I never quite believed I'd actually make it back. It wasn't until we got within reach of Worms Crossing that it felt real. It's so strange. I don't remember much of it, yet I can't help feel like I know it. It feels like home. I suppose it is. Though the chance to savor the moment might be brief, given all that still lies ahead of us. I may have to rely on your local knowledge to plug the gaps in my own mind. Hopefully, I'll remember more than I expect to. I received a dispatch from the Grove. Life carries on there in our absence, just as nature intended. My chosen successor, Francesca, has proven to be a wise choice. Perhaps the wisest I ever made as Archdruid. One grand victory may not be enough to absolve a host of small failures. That is where true leadership lies. Not in winning a single vast battle, but in fighting a thousand smaller ones. Making 10,000 difficult decisions. Finding balance where none seems possible. Day after day, I was all too eager to surrender my responsibilities towards the Grove. Perhaps I was never meant to be Archdruid, to be a leader. Still though, I cannot help but wonder if there was more I could have done. Perhaps, Oakfather willing, I may yet have the chance someday. Forgive me. The Shadow Curse occupied me so entirely and for so long. I almost missed the purpose it gave me. Now I must find a new one. This is the city proper, is it? I didn't expect it to be so outrageously... ordinary. I made it back. <laughs> I'm here. Thank the gods. Thank the gods. The bustle here takes some getting used to. <laughs> Crackling fire and a tressum for company is usually more my speed. Still, we must flow with the current we find ourselves in, however tumultuous it may be. If you've need of me, I'm glad to help. God, this is the first time in 200 years I've seen these streets in the sunlight. You can forget just how much color there is in the world. Hmm? 
yes, of course. Obviously. Sorry, did you want something? Here we go. Adjudicators of diabolical contracts and bargains. Holy hells. Fina, Cirrus, arbiters for the hells, exemplars of justice. Enough, Mizora. Where is my father? How do I save him? How else? We bargain. Sisters. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Infernos contractos te vocamos. Your contract will. Signed in blood, forged in fire, bound in bone, but not unbreakable. A life for a life. No contract is ended without sacrifice. The cost must be paid. Will Ravenguard, a choice is before you. Option one, I show you the way to your father. I guarantee him no harm except that from you and your allies. And you pledge your soul to me and the Archdevil Zariel in a pact eternal. Option two, I break your pact and you are freed from your duty. Your father dies by his enemy's hand and Baldur's Gate loses its greatest champion. Name your sacrifice. Bloody Zariel. I won't let her take Will. Silence, Karlak. Mizora, you asshole. Choose. Addendum F. The Absolute must be avenged for the Soulbinder's detention at Moonrise. The Soulbearer retains his gifts until such time as the Absolute is slain. You damned wretch! Father, do it. Break the pact. Fiat ita. Fiat ita. Anima ad beator. Didn't think you had it in you. Seems my boy's all grown up. <laughs> and don't go fussing about your father. You made your choice. You knew the terms. You know what? I think I'll stick around. Not for the greater good, you understand. Just for the entertainment. <laughs> oh. 
Quill gave up his father to have freedom. Hmm. An understandable decision. Sacrifices must be made after all. Especially if the old Duke's fall means his rise. Time and again, Will's plight reinforces my decision not to pursue the path of a warlock. It's one thing to make such a sacrifice in the pursuit of such a pack, but to do so in order to escape one. Truly, it leaves you with nothing. Chuck. The devil Mizora has made herself quite at home, hasn't she? Do make her feel as unwelcome as you can. Little Will's all grown up. I can't wait to see what trouble he gets into. Not exactly, but it's only a matter of time. Don't be too hard on Will. I'm sure he carefully weighed the pros and cons. Pro, freedom. No more pact, no more hellbound soul. Con, killing off his own father, Baldur's Gate's most beloved duke, and forever altering the city's future. I would have done the same thing in his shoes. But what do I know about heroes? Oh, you are an inquisitive one. I'd have thought you'd figured by now. Zariel found new use for an old battle axe. The dead three in that bulging brain of theirs are a threat to more than this trifling city, you know. Savor her company. Who's to say when Zariel might change her mind? My mistress can be so capricious. Just because he's not my pet doesn't mean he's not useful. The Absolutists worked a number on me at Moonrise. And you're the best hope I've got at payback. No one crosses the Hell's children without getting scorched. Correct. I didn't. If you must know, I was scouting the cultists on behalf of Zariel. But those cursed shadows were thick enough to fell even a half-fiend. I woke in that damned pod. It kept my body sealed and my most powerful magic silenced. But a brave, kind, benevolent soul set me free. Gallantry isn't dead, after all. The Nine Hells of Beator. Each its own domain, each with its own archdevil to rule it. I call the first hell my home, Avernus, my mistress Zariel's realm, a torrid battleground split by the bloody waters of the Styx. How I adore it, the delicious agony of it all. The other eight, well, they are pleasures unto themselves. Perhaps I'll show you myself, if I deem you worthy. Why? I'm supplying Will with every scrap of his infernal power. I've paid my dues many times over. I tell you what, when the time comes to squish that big baddie of a brain, I'll lend you a hand. Will sacrificed his own father. I hope freedom from the pact is worth it to him. I did not know Duke Ravenguard that well. But I am sure he would not want his son to become slave to Zariel for his sake. I am sure Will knows that. But we would do well to remind him when his days grow dark. No one truly understands the weight of loss until they've worn it a while. There is no shame in sharing the load when you need to. Will sacrificed his own father. A hard choice, but... Not one that is unknown in nature. At times a seedling must strangle the very tree that bore it, if it's to survive. Gods, 
I spent seven years choked by Mazura's leash. And I spent seven years hoping to break free. And never knew freedom could taste so bittersweet. I have to believe that. I'm not the Hell's puppet in life, nor its warrior in death. The Blade will be guiding his own hand, but freedom will be paid in my father's blood. Tomorrow, I celebrate my gain. Today, I mourn my loss. A moment passes. In the stillness, you find a mote of tranquility. The Raven God name now lives solely with me. I will make it count for something. I signed his life away before the Hell's Witnesses. It would be easier to drink the sticks down to the last drop than to alter his fate. I'd be a fool to wish otherwise. We obtain the final two nether stones and take back our minds and the city from the brain. 